Hello, class of 2027. On behalf of the counseling department, I'd like to welcome you to the Grizzly family. Today, I would like to talk to you about the Mission Hills High School graduation requirements, A through G subject requirements, which are classes students take in high school if they plan to apply to a four-year university, and finally, review course selection for ninth grade. So before we get started, I'd like to share with you our counseling department. We have six counselors and we work with students based off of last name. So Ms. Baker uh, works with students last name A through CH, Ms. Seagal, CI through GOM, Mr. Cruz, GON through LE, myself, Ms. Goldstein, LI through OK, Mrs. Martinez, OL through SAR, and Ms. Rios, SAS through Z. If you need to meet with your counselor about your academics, your schedule, your plans after high school, we ask that you make an appointment or stop by to see your assigned counselor. If you're having a rough day or you just need somebody to talk to, you're welcome to talk to any one of us in the counseling office. All right, so I'd like to dive into graduation requirements. The graduation requirements are a total of 230 credits and these credits must be earned in specific subject areas. So for English, it's 40 credits, which is four years. For math, 30 credits, three years. Social studies is three years, starting in 10th grade with world history, then 11th grade with US history, and finally government senior year. For science, it's three years, specifically biology, chemistry, and physics. PE is two years language other than English or LOAT, as we refer to it sometimes, is 20 credits or two years. Visual and Performing Art or VAPA is 10 credits one year, and then an additional uh, 50 credits in any subject area. So a total of 230 credits. Um, passing grade is A, B, C, or D that earns you five credits per semester. So for example, English nine, taking first semester and second semester, that would be a total of 10 credits as long as it's a passing grade. And F is zero credit. Um, so that would be a course the student would have to retake at some point to, um, to graduate. And then finally, um, just know that all grades are permanent on the transcript, even if that class is made up. And if you plan to uh, work in high school or have a um, be part of a sport, be on a, a team, you'll need to have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA, which is an average, a C average. Now switching gears and taking a look at A through G. A through G subject requirements, again, are the courses you would need to take if you're planning to apply to a college such as uh, CSUSM, San Marcos here in our backyard, or a UC school like UC San Diego or UCLA. Um, they're very similar to the graduation requirements. The biggest difference I would say um, is you have to earn that C or better. So if you're planning or think you might want to apply directly to a four year after high school, then you wanna maintain a grade or a C or better in all of your academic classes. Uh, the minimum requirement or the classes you need to take would be English four years. That's the same as graduation. Math is three years, which is the same. Social studies is just two years, whereas graduation is three years. So we've got you covered there. For science, it's just two years, one life and one physical. And again, the graduation requirement is actually three years. Language is an, um, other than English is also the same two years. Visual and Performing Art is one year, which is the same, and then one college prep elective. And because we require more years of history and science, um, either that government, that third year of, of history or um, physics could be that college prep elective. So before we get into selecting classes for next year, I want to make sure you're aware of some resources that will help guide you in selecting your courses. Um, so if you go to the website, uh, Mission Hills website, you'll see departments and under counseling, there's two important um, pages to go to, 
course selection, which has everything, um, including this presentation, the handouts, the applications, all that kind of good stuff. And then course catalog. The course catalog is uh, available to help you understand what you would be learning in the classes. So you can read about it to see if it, um, the classes really are what you're wanting. Um, also prerequisites. Prereqs are classes you might take before you can go into a class. So for example, before you go into Spanish two, the prerequisite is Spanish one. All right, so the way we'll be um, submitting our course selection this school year is through a Google form. Um, and the QR code is also here. If you wanna scan that, it will also be on the very last page um, if you wanna listen to the presentation first. Um, but you'll go ahead and complete this Google form. Um, if after you've submitted it, let's say you wanna make any changes, you can go ahead and reach out to your counselor at the middle school or at the high school, <clears throat> and we can assist you in, in updating your course selection. So while you're completing this, or when you complete this, um, you'll be selecting a total of six classes. Um, all ninth graders take English, math, science, and PE. And then for classes five and six, you'll choose um, classes in the area of LOAT, language other than English, VAPA, visual and performing art, CTE, career and technical education, or um, from the other classes that are listed. Um, so once you have these six classes, you're then gonna also select three additional classes that let's say you picked Spanish for your fifth class, for example, and Spanish is full or doesn't work with your schedule, what class would you be okay with going into? So you're gonna select three classes that you'd be okay with if you don't get those first two options that you've selected. And we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, you'll see to the right, this is what the, the Google form is gonna look like as far as selecting options. So for English, graduation requirements four years, A through G is four years. Uh, the options are English 9P, which stands for college prep, English 9 and game design P, college prep, and English 9 honors. Then for math, uh, you'll select your math class based off of one, what type of math you're in now, and also how you're doing in the class. So if you're in accelerated algebra, the recommendations are as follows. If you have an A or a B in the class, uh, the recommendation is geometry honors. If you have a C in the class, the recommendation is geometry. And if you're not, if you're not passing or maybe you have a D in the class, then algebra one. And then for students that are enrolled in math eight, you'll wanna go directly into algebra one. For class three, this is science. Uh, the graduation requirement again is three years, biology, chemistry, and physics. And for A through G, it's one year of life and one year of physical. Um, all ninth graders take biology, so you'll go ahead and select the one option, which is biology of the living earth. Your fourth class will be PE. Uh, two years for graduation is the requirement, and there's no requirement for A through G. The options include general PE, dance one, or concert band combined with marching band, or color guard and marching band. Um, so in those situations where you're in concert band or color guard, you'll also be in a class after school called marching band. So you'll have, technically have seven classes. Um, the way PE credit is earned um, in marching band is for that first semester only. So it will take four years um, to complete the PE requirement but that doesn't mean you have to remain in, in band. If for whatever reason you're not taking it next year, just know that you'll have to um, earn a total of 15 additional credits past the end of your ninth grade year, if that makes sense. And then for class five, again, you're gonna select from visual and performing art, language other than English, career technical education, and some additional classes that we offer. Um, so you'll go ahead and pick one from those areas. Class six is the same. You'll pick from visual performing art, language other than English, career technical education or other. And then finally, as I mentioned before, three alternates. These would be classes not listed as your top six um, that you'd be okay with if you don't get into your first choice. So here are some resources. Um, some of our classes require applications. So AVID, ASB, um, yearbook, the, the applications are here. 
additional information on pageantry, uh, link to the course catalog, the website, and then the form that needs to be submitted. Um, so everything, One Stop Shop is right here. And again, this presentation is on the website as well. So you can click on the links or um, go ahead and scan the QR codes. Freshman orientation will be on August 8th uh, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is such an amazing day. Our link crew does such a good job of making sure students feel comfortable, um, showing them around campus, having just a lot of fun meeting other um, student incoming ninth graders from other schools. So definitely mark your calendar and plan to attend. It's a really, really neat event. We are on social media, so go ahead and follow us, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. And also there is a Google Classroom for you, for the class of 2027. Uh, that one classroom will be um, where counseling puts important information relevant to your class or your grade um, and follow you through graduation. All right, and so here is the form. You can go ahead and scan that QR code. Um, to complete your course selection, reach out if you have any questions or need anything. And um, that's it for today. So thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.